Welcome to the Blue Cafe. We offer stories of infidelity, betrayal, and redemption. Please like and subscribe if you are enjoying what you are hearing. Now, on to today's story. You're the one with no value. Vent slash rant slash FML I've realized that this isn't about the past, it's about this moment. Divorce is happening because for the last two years we didn't upkeep our relationship and you stopped loving me. When you suspected that I didn't love you, I'm just used to your company, that hurt me so much. I now realize that those were your feelings. You didn't love me anymore, you were just used to my company. You have created a negative image of me so that the divorce is easier for you. Like a sucker I took that bait and blamed everything on myself. Truth is I've been standing by your side, from a small boy to a grown man. I have taken care of you when you've been down. I know I have a tendency to be critical and negative and that's a wrong way to show my powerlessness but no one is perfect. Not even your next guy. With time you will realize that you broke our family in a selfish way. A way that shows you saw no value in our marriage to even try to fix the situation. You said you were afraid to feel unhappy for the next two years and during our anniversary you made me agree with a handshake that if you don't fall in love with me during this month I have to give you the divorce nicely. You already knew that you weren't interested in saving us. You were the last person I would have expected to turn into an evil person. When you abandoned me you showed me that you are heartless. You don't deserve me or my love. Edit, this might be a bitch move but whatever, I have to stay true to myself. I had an awful day filled with hate and emptiness. I went to the gym and like always it was therapeutic. When I left I realized I'm acting out of being hurt, and that's not going to help me or make my situation any better. I've known her for 19 years and she is not the same person at the moment. Personally I think she's kind of a mess at the moment. My daughter told me yesterday that mom just sleeps and watches Netflix, so she's been doing the same thing since before the crisis. I was expecting her to be on self-improvement road like I am but no. I opened my phone and she had sent me an email where she thanked me for everything and hoped that I would feel better and we would be able to co-parent. It felt like she pitied me. I pulled myself together and decided to take the higher road so that I can feel better and since she was a perfect partner for 19 years I don't want our last communications to be full of hate. I unboxed her on WhatsApp and sent this message to her, thanks for your honesty about your feelings. I also want to thank you for all the everlasting memories from our years together. I agree that we will be able to provide loving homes to our daughter. This has been a roller coaster, but it's natural when you're dealing with love and loss. I accept this divorce but I want to tell you that I love you and I miss you. I will take your feelings into consideration and understand that you need space at the moment. Maybe I'm an idiot but I still have a small hope that maybe with time our roads will unite again. I know we both need our independence now but we have such a special background and relationship that I have to believe. I know I have to move forward but I have to leave the door open for the future. Well she's just making this easier for me. Vent slash rant slash FML. Out of nowhere my STBXW sent me a voice message that she would like to go bowling today or tomorrow. She would also like to come help cut dog's nails tonight. I thought about it for few hours and sent her a message saying that our separation is still so fresh that I don't see a point going as a family. I think we should learn to do things separately. I also declined help with the dogs and told her that my bro will help me, no need for her. One minute later she replied with this message. Okay, but this is awkward, I meant I'm going with daughter, smiley face, smiley face, hand over mouth, I replied that oh well okay. You just said about today or tomorrow and you know this is my day with her. Anyway I think it's a great idea, take her tomorrow after that she said sorry for confusion but I didn't answer. 
gonna minimize contact even more after this stunt. I felt that she wanted to smash me back to ground for thinking that she would ask me to join their company. It felt bad but in the end she's actually helping get over her. I can't value a person like that. How could I love someone who doesn't have any concern for my well-being? I'm so glad I didn't take her on the offer. At least now she knows I want nothing to do with her. It's just so crazy, for almost two decades she was my favorite person, and now I don't know her anymore. I don't even want to get to know the new her. Edit, I asked my kid. They didn't do anything but watch TV. Finally able to shift my energy. Custody slash kids. I'm starting to feel better. I've been able to shift my energy away from STBXW. I've partied hard, haven't slept around because being single in a bar reminds of flies around shit. I was going to take a vacation with friends but now that I can finally focus on my child I will go with her and focus on being there for her and showing that life will be good. I've kind of neglected my child during this time. I just haven't been able to prioritize her over my STBXW but last week has been amazing on my healing even though there's still a long road ahead. I've been able to be present and really spend time with her. Tomorrow when she's with me we're going to bake cookies for the first time together without mom. Thank you letters, more like a sentence. Life after divorce. I don't know if I find this funny or sad, maybe both. We were together for 19 years and she left me a month ago. During our last counseling she said she was thinking about making a thank you letter for all the years and the therapist said that's great, you both do that. I wrote a two page letter thanking for everything and specific big moments in our life together and wished her all the best. Well she sent the message and it went like this. Thanks for the years, my love was real and I enjoyed it but I have to be honest that it's gone now needless to say, I never sent my letter to her. I just replied thanks for your honesty and all the memories during our years together. Dog people, need your opinion. My, M33, wife left me 5 weeks ago. We have been together for 19 years, since teens. Anyway we have 4 chihuahuas that she left with me. I live in our old house with then, she's at her mom waiting to go to her own place. Our dogs are like family, and they have lived their lives as a pack. Initially I didn't want any dogs but she insisted on getting one, then another and then puppies and now I'm taking care of them. There's a big issue. Since our crisis slash divorce I have made a tight schedule with hobbies and going out. The dogs don't get enough attention from me for these reasons. I told my STBXW that she insisted on getting them so she is going to take care of them, but she said she's going to give two of them away since four dogs is too much for her. I think that's a bad idea since they are a pack and I think that's too much for my daughter who is already losing a whole family. What should I do? Keep two of the dogs or try to talk sense into her to keep all the dogs. I miss you so much. Mental health slash depression slash loneliness. I miss our inside jokes. I miss telling you about funny things I've encountered during the day that I knew only you would laugh at. I miss how we used to listen to music together. I miss the way you used to quit phone calls with telling me you love me. I miss our daily coffee breaks. I miss making food with you. I miss falling asleep next to you. I miss making a family bed where we would lay with our daughter and dogs. I miss all those little rituals we used to have. I miss being able to talk to you when I was hurt. I miss supporting you when you needed it. I miss the person you were all those years you loved me. I miss being happy. I can't believe you were the person that brought the biggest pain I have ever had to endure. Dumpy, 
it actually gets better quicker than you think. Life after divorce. Maybe this will give hope to others just starting this journey. I know I have a long road ahead of me with ups and downs but lately I've been feeling quite good. I started dating my SDBXW when I was 14 years old. We were together 19 years. We divorced 5 weeks ago and separated 4 weeks ago. Our crisis started in summer but she started to be really honest and cold in July. She said she didn't love me anymore and felt things got platonic. She had been thinking of divorce for a year. I basically started my panic and grief in July. I completely broke down, took a sick leave for three weeks, started antidepressants and I just obsessed about everything for that time. I tried to fix the situation, but she had already checked out and my actions just further pushed her away. If I could go back I wouldn't try to fix anything, just say how I feel and let her go. She lost respect for me with my begging so it didn't help at all and later she told me that trying to fix things proved more than she wanted out. So we basically ended our relationship and broke our family in two months. Think about it. 19 years, marriage, a child, a mortgage. It's now been two weeks since I have felt depressed and I'm surprised how quick that has been. Maybe I'm also numb but I don't really care that much anymore for a person who quit on me and I've started to realize I can't stay in sadness, I have to move forward and look for silver linings. Since I've never been alone, this is the time to get independent and stay single, although I'm going to look for some small flings when I'm ready, but nothing too serious I've accepted the reality. I've realized that she doesn't indicate my value, I do. No contact has really helped me get over her. She isn't part of my life anymore, Terry's no use thinking what she is doing I realized last week that this is the first time in my life that I can create a life that suits me, with no compromises. I've also realized that since she is the only girl I've ever been with, I have no idea if she even was the one for me. Being alone doesn't feel bad at all, missing your partner does, but it gets better with time. Kids, friends, hobbies, partying and music career is what brings me joy so I'm using my free time on those I'm in the best shape of my life and at a prime age, early 30s. World is mine. How I'm handling communication with her proves to me, and her, I can be compassionate, learn from my mistakes and be a good person even when things are rough I do feel sad that I will never have a connection like this again based on the fact that we grew up together, experienced so many things for the first time together and I have a hard time believing I will experience such a long relationship ever again, but who knows. I've done my best to keep contact to a minimum and be civil and tell you the truth. I hope that in future we might have a chance to reconcile. But at the moment this is my reality, and I've got to invest in me and live in the moment. Grow, be the best version of me and enjoy my new life. Looking for experiences and tips from people with the same kind of background. How long did you wait to try dating? Life after divorce. It's been two months since I agreed to the divorce from my SDBXW. It has been hard. I, 33 meters, still think about her although I think the damage is too much to be repaired in the near future. Not like she's showing any signs of reconciliation. I feel like I'm stuck and haven't really let go of her mentally. My friends say I should start dating to start feeling better and move forward. I know that I don't want anything serious but I think getting some attention slash action would do me good but I just keep comparing everyone to my STBXW and don't really feel like doing any hunting for dates. There's no motivation. I do have small issues with self-confidence after the divorce but nothing major. It still makes me think that if everyone rejects me then trying to date ATM would do more harm than good. Edit, Lil Background. We've been separated for one month, three weeks. We have been together for 19 years. I didn't mean that I'm thinking of dating like looking for a relationship. More like a fun night and being honest about it to the other person. 
signed the divorce doc and sent this letter to her. Life after divorce. Even though I'm disappointed we wound up in a situation where I loved you without you loving me back anymore, I still wish you all the best and that you find happiness. I've actually been proud of myself. I've let my emotions get the best of me a few times and I don't know how you view it, but I have proven with my actions that my love for you was real and strong. I didn't try to toxicity own or sabotage you when we separated. I proved my love to you and let go when I realized you didn't want it. My love for you was selfless. I was prepared to be vulnerable and I gave you my all. After all these years I still felt the same way about you. You were still the same girl that I had a crush on when I was 14 years old. I'm real, sensitive, a good man and a father. I gave you my all and I hope that you will remember me like that. There will be other people in our life but no one will share what we have shared together. Thank you for everything. She lost feelings even to the dogs. Vent slash rant slash fml. So we separated over two months ago. She stayed with her mom all this time, and got her own apartment last week. We had four dogs that she insisted on getting when we were together. During our separation she took the dogs for only two days. Well yesterday she took them to her new apartment and today I asked how it was going. She told me she has no emotional bond to them, and has been in the talking with a mutual acquaintance that she would give the dogs to them. I'm shocked how she doesn't care about them anymore and doesn't understand how our daughter would feel if she also lost the dogs during this divorce. It's like she wants to forget everything about our life. I told her that we have a completely different relationship with animals and that you wanted the dogs, not me, and they are not toys you can just throw away. I'm thinking I'm just gonna keep them alone so they can stay with a person that cares for them and that they can stay in my daughter's life. My STBX is like a different person and I don't want anything to do with her anymore. So selfish, something she's never been. Grateful for being left. Life after divorce. These last few weeks have been great. I've, M33, focused on myself and family and I'm feeling overall positive. Today I realized I'm starting to feel grateful for my wife to leave. I loved her so it was painful but the freedom is amazing. We were together since teens, I've never been alone so this is all new to me. This is something that I had to experience to level up. I hope one day I can thank her sincerely. I'm not there yet but I have a feeling I will one day. No matter what happens next, our separation was actually good for me and for my personal growth even though it has been the most painful chapter in my life. I still have a lot to process and it's gonna be ups and downs but it's gonna work out. Life is crazy. Smile? Should I send this letter? Life after divorce. I posted on Monday how I'm starting to be grateful for the separation, life is actually looking a lot better. I wrote this letter and I'm thinking about sending it to my SDBX. Got asleep on it but I'm thinking of sending this letter. If I do decide not to send it, I still think this was a good way to write down my thoughts and process. Any opinions? If you're interested, my backstory is explained in my first post. Thank you for ending our relationship. I would have never thought I'd say those words. Divorcing you left me in ruins. The life I built and my identity was destroyed when you left. I thought I would wait for you for the rest of my life. I chose the hard way, and embraced all my feelings and thoughts I was left alone with. I got help, shared my emotions with my family and started to get to know myself. I started to rebuild myself. With time I've been able to be honest with myself about our relationship and divorce. I've taken a hard look in the mirror and admitted my errors and flaws. I have recognized features and habits in myself that caused you to decide to divorce me. 
I have recognized features and habits in you that Sith their own way contributed to this situation recognizing these things have helped me with self-improvement, and understanding what I want from a relationship. There were many good things in our relationship, but we lacked healthy boundaries and the skill to communicate. I thank you for giving me my independence. I'm surprised how good it feels. It has brought me joy, balance and responsibility in my life. This is something I had to experience but it's never too late. I have realized I don't need a partner to feel whole. Good life and healthy relationships are born from being able to be happy with yourself and loving yourself. I know through this all that I can live a happy life and offer a better version of me to the people in my life. Whatever happens next, the decision to divorce was in reality good for me and my personal growth. This chapter and the foundation for growth had to be experienced for a better tomorrow. I hope the experience has been the same to you. This will be the last time I'll say this, but if you notice yourself wanting to get to know me again, you can contact me. I'm going to move on and I recommend the same thing to you but you never know what tomorrow brings. Edit, I hear you, maybe it's better to keep it to myself. Funny thing is as I was reading your comments Jay Diller, the ex started to play on Spotify radio. It's basically a letter to the ex who left, D. Feeling empty or indifferent. Life after divorce. For some time now I've felt calmness about our divorce. Christmas, my B-Day, Nigh are coming but I don't feel stressed about spending them without my SDBX for the first time in 19 years. Am I truly on a new phase where I don't care anymore or am I exhausted from all the pain, can't make up my mind. Being alone doesn't feel bad anymore but having minimal social life feels unfulfilling. I've been absorbing relationship guides for like half a year but don't see any point in them anymore. I think that's advancing because most of that was about false hope. I tried watching some guides last week and felt like this is ridiculous and completely stopped them and just stuck on self-improvement material. I thought I would be excited by all this improvement in going forward but I don't feel that happy, just calm, bored, indifferent. Four months after separation. Life after divorce. Background. It's been over four months since our separation and the divorce process has started. When she, F32, left, I, 34 meters, sank to the bottom. I've never been so low. I spent my time crying, blaming myself for everything and feeling suicidal. It took me a while to stop idolizing her and realizing she's not perfect. She's an incomplete human just like me. I spent my time self-reflecting and trying to learn from our relationship and my own behavior and reasons behind it. I started to realize that this hardship has been a growing sprint and even though my heartache felt like it was killing me I've been grateful for the possibility to grow. This is my road to becoming a better version of me. It feels good to be independent. I'm definitely getting better but it's still hard. I still see dreams and nightmares about her. I still wish her the best and curse her to hell. I think it's natural just like I realize her leaving me to live a youth she missed is natural. She has been beside me since my teens and after 19 years she's just gone. She hasn't hesitated her decision, not even once. She cut connection to our friends wants to get rid of the dogs she wanted and cherished for years and our kid has had few big breakdowns but my SDBXW is in denial and never thinks anything is connected to our family life changing. It seems everything about old life must go and she doesn't want to have any responsibilities she has acquired in her previous life. She even took on a huge debt to buy brand new stuff for her apartment. She didn't really want anything from our home. I've felt it's very important to handle everything with empathy and not with bad emotions. Being apart has given me a chance to see the issues in our marriage and how it's time to move forward but even after all this time I still couldn't really give up hope on her waking up and realizing that there might be a chance to rebuild something better than before. 
In December after minimal contact I asked her one last time if she would like another change and she told me she has already moved on. Icing on the cake was on New Year's Eve she took our kid to bad company to spend the rest of the week and wanted me to take the dogs, so she could go somewhere for a trip. I felt that it was very tasteless to tell me that and bad parenting to leave our kid where she left her so I went to get her. Besides those things it took her a month to tell me where she lives and she still hasn't invited me inside when I drop our kid to her place. After these events I finally had enough. I used this time to heal, self-reflect and take responsibility for my life. I'm working out, made healthy lifestyle changes, started studying psychology and philosophies, I'm going back to school and have invested in my family and friends. I'm in my prime age and this is not the end of my life, just a change of chapter. I gave her time and space but she is gone. I have treated her with respect and empathy but after these events I finally see we have truly grown apart and I don't know her anymore. I don't want to know her anymore. What I do know is that I don't deserve to be treated like this. I don't know how long she had her mask on and was hesitating slash faking her love. I don't know if she cheated but she definitely was waiting to be single. At this point I can say I've given my all and I have paid my debts. I gave my everything to our relationship and with knowledge I'm finally going to move forward and get further with my healing. I deserve a new beginning after this personal hell. No person is worth the wait when they have shown they don't value you anymore. I am valuable. I shouldn't have to beg or wait for someone to care for me. It has taken me way too long to understand this and believe her. She lost a partner who still would have done anything for her, I lost a partner who didn't care one bit anymore. We hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. Have an awesome day or night. Wherever you are.